All right or wrong about that? You was in Timberwolves? You was in Timberwolves? You was in Timberwolves when he went to Timberwolves? He remember he went in there and throw the tables over? Yeah, yeah. But remember what he say right there? He said, they're going to destroy this temple That's true. and raise it up in three days. And he was talking he about, about he he, Jesus Christ was talking, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no. But he, the Bible said he was talking about the temple of his body. The temple is his body. The, the temple is God's body, right or wrong? Come here, right or wrong, though. The temple is his body. So we went to uh, the temple of God is the body of Christ. God dwelleth not in temples made by man's hands. Y'all know that, right? God don't dwell in temples made by man's hands. What you say? Organized religion is of the devil. Is that right? Organized religion is of the devil, right? Y'all know that. Y'all created it. There's no, no, no truth is of a lie, man. No truth is of a lie. And there's no lie in the truth. Organized religion is of man. The, the, the things that man highly esteem are an abomination unto God. Uh, the truth is in Jesus, man. Ephesians 4.21 The truth is in Jesus Christ. Truth is in spirit, man. What do you say? In spirit and in truth. We must worship the Father in spirit and in truth. John 3, verse 22. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Verse 24 of John chapter 4. Right? God is a spirit, and they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's the scriptures, man. The scriptures is the spiritual body of Jesus Christ. We just read that. He said, I write my laws in your heart and put them in your mind. The word of God was made flesh in John chapter 1. So the word of God must become your spiritual body. We must put off mortality and put on immortality. The scriptures is immortality. For heaven and earth shall pass away. Right? That's the old world. That's all the, the former the former age, man. Uh the Mosaic law and all of that, which is on paper, which is latter. Uh, that's why the apostles said that they were of the spirit, man, of the New Testament. Second Corinthians chapter three and verse six, they were ministers of the New Testament. In spirit, not in the latter. Not on paper. Just because you read the Bible don't mean you know the Bible. Right? Uh, the scribes and Pharisees had that. Right? You got to know the Lord through the Spirit, through the anointing, through new birth, through salvation, through the blood of Jesus, through the words of God that was made flesh. We don't have an excuse today because God has come in the flesh. Exactly. In the person of Jesus Christ. And you got to have a personal relationship to know that. If you don't know Jesus Christ is the almighty God, it's because you don't have a relationship with him. You don't fellowship with him. It's because you don't worship him in spirit and in truth. You don't know him through the Bible. Okay? To know him is to repent and be converted. Acts 3.19 to turn from your wicked ways to be born of the water and the spirit John chapter 3 verse 3 except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God verse 6 says except we be born of the water and the spirit we cannot enter into the kingdom of God you need heaven's water the baptism of heaven 
Because in Genesis chapter 1, God made the firmaments. He put a firmament in the heavens. That's the waters. That's the matrix. We got to pass through this lower matrix into the heavenly firmament, the heavenly matrix. By repentance and conversion through the blood of Jesus the Christ. That's why he came to the earth. He brought heaven to earth. But it's in the heart of man. Luke 17, 21. Jesus Christ said, the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God must be within you. New birth. New life. Transformation, according to Romans chapter 12. Paul said, I beseech you, brethren. I beg you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2 says, And be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's the scriptures. The scriptures must wash your mind. Y'all heard of brainwashing, right? The scriptures of God must brainwash you with holy water. The Bible is holy water. The Bible is holy. He must wash your hearts with the scriptures. He must baptize you in the spirit of the scriptures into his kingdom, into his world. The Bible is God's kingdom. The Bible is God's world. You must put off mortality. What's of flesh is flesh, and flesh cannot please God. Creation shall perish, man. All that first world, just like uh, Noah's Ark in the days of Noah, that firstborn of Egypt perished. All the firstborn perish, of, even of the animals. That's the old world. Even coming into this, this future, this new world order, God's new world order is the kingdom of God. All the old creation shit got to perish. All that which comes from Adam. Let me make it plain. That which comes from Adam and Eve dies. It says what's... He said from flesh, from dust you came, from dust you shall go. You shall return. That old world of your flesh, dust, shall perish. It cannot go into the kingdom of God. You must have new life. You must receive divine light. Your eyes got to be anointed or wash what I saw. Your eyes got to be anointed. You got to have the vision from a God, from the Lord God. You must see with anointed eyes through blessed eyes. He said, blessed are the eyes that see. You must have circumcised ears. Blessed are the ears that hear. Jesus Christ said, deny yourself and follow me. You got to deny walking by sight. We must live by faith and not sight. Sight is the corner man, the elder man. Faith is how we comprehend God. It's through faith. Hebrews 11, 6. They that come to God must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. 
Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And that faith is called Jesus Christ in the scriptures. Revelations 14, 12. The faith comes from Jesus. We must live by his faith. Habakkuk 2, verse 4. We must live by his faith. Right? The faith of Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Bible says in Ephesians 2 that this faith is a gift of God. We're not saved by works, but by grace through faith, it is the gift of God. It's not of man, nor by man, nor given by man, nor by taught by man. It is the gift of God from heaven. And you Edomites are going into captivity. You are the children of the devil, the children of the wicked. Y'all worship Satan. That's what Gen Con is all about. Damn Satan worshipers. Men wearing dresses and everything out here. To live is Christ. And to die, your outward man perishing is gain. Paul said to live is Christ. Our life must become Christ. Anointed. Saints. We read in Ephesians 5 and becoming saints. That's passing away from all uncleanliness, man. Fornication, adultery, the works of the flesh. He said, let not sin be once named among us as becoming saints. What was that? Ephesians 5.3. Or two, something like that. And uh, with children of the day, man, the Sabbath is a holy life forever and ever and ever and ever. We in eternity. We have entered into eternity. We read that when you go beyond the veil, we read that in Psalms 148, 14. Children near and dear unto me. Near and dear unto me. Christ split the veil and twine from top to the bottom. So now we can enter into the presence of our Father in the face of who? Jesus Christ. <laughs> right? In the Old Testament, he turned away his face from us. Right? In the New Testament, he gives us his face in the person of Jesus Christ. His glory is in the face of Jesus Christ. What is that? 2 Corinthians uh 3 6 2 Corinthians 3 6 yeah, the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ right and you can't you fall short of the glory when you don't believe in Jesus how you gonna get the glory the glory is in Jesus the fullness of the Godhead is who in Jesus Colossians 2 verse 9 verse 10 follow after Christ not after the uh, traditions of men philosophies right after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ the life is Christ it's King Superman bringing it to you tell your family members friends neighbors and strangers about these King Superman videos man. don't seem like enough of y'all doing it if y'all watch these videos share, like, subscribe pass them on be a blessing to others be a blessing to others. Christ is king. Jesus Christ is king. Jesus Christ is king. Coming back to judge the earth. And bring wrath upon those that don't know him. Let's get that. Uh, let's, uh, Second this is it one and six? Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. See, that's a righteous thing, man. When they mess with us, you know, and Edom, you have troubled us. 
So, Lord, it is a righteous thing for you to reward tribulation upon these Edomites. And to you who are troubled, rest with us when the Lord Jesus, it is written, G, J E S U S, yeah, be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God. If you don't know who Jesus is, you don't know God. If you don't know who Jesus is, you don't know God. Jesus said, if you had known my father, you'd have known me too. They're one and the same. John 10, 30. My father and I are one. Okay? Glorified, man. You can't divide one. You can't divide one. The lion and the lamb are the same. The water, the fountain of Israel, and, and, and the consuming fire are one. You can't divide the father and the son. And they... And... The, that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, he, the wrath is coming on you. Because you tried to change his name. You didn't believe in the Immaculate Conception. You know? You doubted the scriptures. Right? Verse 9 said, Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Man. You fall, you falling from his glory and his the pre, his presence and his power. I mean, that's gonna be against you. Instead of that being for you, your reward, your inheritance, it has become your shame. And it has become your destruction. Verse 10, when he shall come to be glorified. In his saints. I told you you called to be saints. You got to go through the veil. You got to ascend. You got to get. You got to graduate the flesh, man. Mortality. Saints are not mortals. Saints are immortals. And be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. And this is the apostles' testimony. So you believe in your. Cousin Ray Ray And what your grandmama said And what the mosaic Under the law Hebrew Israelites are saying And Paul saying We supposed to believe their testimony The apostles And the prophets of the scriptures The mosaic law Hebrew Israelites don't even believe Moses man Jesus said if you believe Moses you would have believed my, me If you believe not his work His writings How can you believe my word Okay that's written they don't believe what's written, J-E-S-U-S. -S. And that's how Jesus fought Satan and defeated Satan, by saying, it is written, it is written, it is written. Ain't no Yahweh Shai written in this Bible, man. Yahweh, Ahia. You can't even use the name Jehovah. You can read about it, but it's not given to you for salvation. Huh? Allah, or uh, Yah. Or whatever name you want, use so many names. You can't use those names. You got to use J E S U S, because that's the kingdom name. You can't use your intellect. You got to use your heart, the spirit. What's written in the scriptures? Let's get that real quick. Let's get that. It'll probably we're getting close to being the last one. We're running out of time. Let's get that. Uh, let's go to Romans. 616 It says Know ye not That to whom you yield yourselves Servants To obey If you obey them Mosaic Hebrew Israelites Under the law You're going to be judged by the law Under the law uh, To whom Ye yield yourselves servants to obey His servants ye are To whom ye obey Whether it be sin unto death That's the under Mosaic law That's what that was Sin unto death Right Them Hebrew Israelites under the law Who don't see grace that is in Christ Jesus That's the love of God that blotted out our sins And our transgressions His love did that His mercy did that His grace did that Okay and we inherit the nature of God, which is uncreated life. Uncreated life. Okay. 
or of obedience unto righteousness. That's what we need. That goes in what? Into the love of God. Right? It's the love that covers your sins or faults. It's his love. He blotted it out, man. Calvary. His blood blotted it out. Calvary blotted it out. Okay? And the Holy Spirit comes to make that our reality, man. What His works. His finished works. What he did for you and me. He redeemed us from the curse of the law. Galatians 3 and 13. He redeemed us from the curse of the law. Verse 17. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. That's what we were in the flesh. Under the Mosaic law, that's what we were. We were rehearsing the righteous acts of God. That's when we were rehearsing the righteous acts of God under the Mosaic law. Today, that, that, that is fulfilled because now we are clothed with the righteousness of Jesus Christ. His blood is the token. His blood is the token. His Holy Spirit is the executioner. Okay. But you have obeyed from the heart. Here it is, y'all. From the heart. Right? Don't use your carnal intellect. Oh, it's not written in Hebrew. Can't be, you can't believe that because it's not written in. So that means all this Bible, all this Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you telling us, actually you're telling us, if we dissect what you're saying, we cannot believe it because it's not written in Hebrew. For example, Matthew 4.4 4 says, Man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. It says, it is written. Man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word. Word that please out of mouth. Now, what part of Hebrew did I what I I must know for that to become true? What I just said. Is that not true because I I didn't read that in Hebrew? Well tell me which scripture is not true because I don't read it in Hebrew. What scripture? What about the description of Jesus Christ in the Bible? What about that description? Woolly hair, skin like burnt bread. Because I don't read that in Hebrew, I can't get that revelation. Well, what part? What about Deuteronomy 28, 68, the slave ships? Must I read that in Hebrew? For me, for me not to get that revelation? Okay. Now, if all those are plain by what you call English, which is the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, you know, whatever label you want to give it, you know, what would you call it English. Oh, that's what they told us it was. So was that, that makes all these scriptures non and void? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Okay. So when we get to the name Jesus, same thing. You want to say, oh, that's not his name because it's not in Hebrew. <clears throat> but if that applies to the name Jesus, that applies to every scripture in the scripture, from Genesis to Revelation. Okay, that's what you're saying. That's what you. That's what you're actually saying. You might, you might might not be intelligent enough to understand what you're saying, but that is exactly what you're saying. Okay. Let's finish this. That obey from the heart the form of doctrine which was delivered to. This form of doctrine which was delivered us. Right, this form of doctrine, which is what? In spirit and in truth. What about those verses? Except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Because that's not in Hebrew, we, we're supposed to make that non void. What about verse 6 when it says, Except you be born of the water and the spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Is that non void because we're not reading that in Hebrew? Again, I say to you, which scripture is non void because we're not reading it in Hebrew? Because they're plain to me when we read it in whatever language we... we they told us it was. That's the white man that told us what it is. We're taking his word. 
we're taking his word. <laughs> but the scriptures say God created all languages. So I don't think man outsmarted God. I think God outsmarted man. That's what we see in Acts chapter 2. The Jews, devout men, came from every nation under heaven. And they were speaking in the, the tongues that they were born in. Huh? They were speaking in the tongue that they were born. They were speaking different tongues. These Jews, devout men, were speaking in all tongues from under heaven in Acts chapter 2. The tongue that they were born in. Right? And the nations heard them and glorified God that they were speaking in these tongues. The, the Bible said they glorified God in these tongues. Just like you, born in your captivity tongue, that you call a bastard. I guess you call in the Bible a bastard book because it's written in that tongue that you speak. Okay, so you understand what you're saying, and it's and it's not wise what you're saying. So you calling Jesus a cursed for the name that's written in that holy Bible that you call a bastard language. So you really you are anti, and that spirit that you're in, you are antichrist. You are a devil with that spirit there. You must repent and believe the gospel of Jesus. We just read it. We read it in uh, Second Thess, chapter 1, verse 6 on down. He's going to destroy those that don't know him, as it is written, man, through the name of Jesus Christ. And with that, till next video, y'all.